Okay, so here I am in the shop, and uh, I've been having some issues with my speed in the shop. So I have like two routers in the house. I'm still not connecting, and uh, so I purchased this here. What's on package here? So we have a look at it. So it's the TP Link. You can see it there in the picture. Okay, so my wireless speeds are right now 58, well, anywhere from 43 to 58 millibytes per second. As you can see, how many bars I got, it jumps back and forth to uh, 3 to 4. As you can see. And let's open this up and have a look at it. So, if I can get into it here. So hopefully this will boost my internet. I like to be able to come out in the shop while I'm working, you know, listen to music or maybe put a movie on or, you know, do whatever. I do research on, uh, you know, working on motors and stuff like that. And this always was really bad. It lagged really bad. So I figured pick one of these up and give it a try. Boost my internet for the shop. So let's open this up. If I can. So there's uh, nothing in the box. And it's just a little white box. Nothing on it. <laughs> Put this away. So inside the package, you'll get, uh, imagine it's a setup CD for your drivers, and a little uh, technical support booklet, right there, there's front and back, and here's the CD, just a small one, I imagine there's only a few drivers on there, wouldn't take up much room. And then you got your TP Link quick stall, quick installation guide right here. Now they say these are pretty much a plug and play. They'll pick up their own drivers. This is Windows 7, so I shouldn't have any problem. Uh, this is just a French and English. Um, it's probably just French. Okay, so just shows you how to install your software, how to set it up. Nothing too spectacular. And inside you see your TP link, which is not very big. Let's take it out of the box. Which is pretty light. And there it is. And on the front, this button here is just uh, set up a WPS secure password. That's all that's for for this box here. And you got your antennas. This here is not very big. I thought it would be a lot bigger. So you just plug in your, uh, apparently there's a cable in the box in there. this up just pack my package so it's pretty good that it comes with a two year warranty and uh, here's the cable I think they said the cable was five feet long 
I do have longer cables, but I'm going to have to get a, I think it's a female to a male, USB, and then you just got your regular plug-in, as you can see, and that just plugs right into here. like that so let's plug this into the computer see what happens if I got a port here to plug into and there's one here so it says uh, install device drivers I don't know if you can see that. And just click here for TTL. So it's installing the drivers already for me. So we'll see what happens. So while we're waiting for it, searching for Windows updates, uh, you can see there's no light or anything on here as far as I can see right now. So maybe it's just because it's not installed. But apparently that's supposed to flash where the green is. And eventually I'm going to mount that right up here to the highest point in my shop. So as you can see right now it's flashing. And it says installing device driver software. It says uh, ready to use. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of uh, results we get with this. I kind of wanted to share it with you guys so if you're purchasing this will help you out okay so we got uh, everything figured out here so I was having a problem uh, when I installed that driver CD uh, actually do not do that I already installed drivers and for Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, you do not need a utility disk and the utility tools or the drivers off of that whatsoever so when you plug it into your computer it automatically works and uh, you just go in here and you set it up so what you do is you just right open up your uh, open up network and sharing and then you go over to uh, change adapter settings then you'll find out what that is by looking in here you'll see your, your adapter settings. Well this one here is a USB adapter, three, uh, 300 megabytes wireless adapter and obviously it's USB so that told me right off the bat it didn't even say TP link or nothing like that it just says wireless network connection 3. So what told me that that was the TP link was because it's 300 megabytes per second wireless USB adapter. So I had to go in there and connect and then put the password in for my, my uh, router for inside which now I'm getting full bars. Now if we close that out, we go and open up this and you'll see in here you scroll down where you see the wireless network connection 3. Well this is that TP link so everything underneath here is what that's picking up. Okay so it's boosting and finding all these wireless networks which I've never found before and the one I connected to was this one and it says connected and you can see how many bars I'm getting so now if I right click on that and go to properties actually advanced settings let me go back to how did I get that uh, So let me find out where. Oh, I hate that when you can't find something. Uh, status. So now I'm receiving. Uh, well, it was 7.0, but uh, there it is. So it's receiving much more than what I was getting. I was only getting uh, 34, 35. So now I'm jumped up to. Uh, that right there so I'm receiving much more of a signal 
The strength is even better. Uh, so this actually did work for me. And it boosted my internet. And here's my TP-Link over here. As you can see. Now, the further you put this, I would say, up in the air, you should receive a better signal. So, now I pointed the antenna towards the, the house and it jumps back and forth. So, pretty much it is working a lot better than what it was before. Now, nobody can connect to this uh, because I have a security password on it. But the most important thing to do is get this put up in a most higher spot or point these antennas to an area where towards your network is your modem in your house and uh, you will receive much more, more uh, strength from your, your router. So that was the installation of the uh, router. So if anybody else is having a hard time, like I said, I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, look at it again. So we just go down here. We right click on on the uh, your wireless device right there. So just right click, open uh, network and sharing center. Then you go over to change adapter settings. And then you'll find these in here. Okay, this is my local area connection and my wireless network connection, which would be my laptop, the laptop's uh, software and stuff, which we're bypassing now. Now we're using the wireless network connection three, and you'll know if you see right underneath here, USB adapter. So you just click on that, and you just say connect. If you get a password, put your password in, and uh, you're all set to go, you guys. That's how you set this up. So, uh, that's the unboxing, you guys. The TP Link, the reliable choice, I guess they say. I'll uh, come back and do a review on it, of you know how if I'm experiencing any problems with it. And uh, apparently, this is supposed to be pretty good. And it did boost my bars, as you can see. I was only getting three, maybe four. I see it down to two, so. Uh, it did boost the uh, signal quite a bit. So, you can pick that up on uh, eBay for real cheap right now. It's on there for $15 with your shipping and everything. Maybe the shipping is different for your area. But that's the TP link and it's it seems to be working fine, you guys. So, uh, right on. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, you guys. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. But I appreciate you coming and watching. And uh, have a good day. Later.